By the end of this video, I promise at least 90% of you will have picked up a piece of information that'll help you to be a better long-term investor. At minimum, you're going to be reminded of something that'll help you to be a better stock and option trader or a better investor in whatever field you're in. Let's get started. The information I'm going to share with you here, I ran across in an article in CNBC. And they had three charts that were so good that I had to share them with you. Let's talk through these three charts because by the end of this video, you will be a better long-term investor. The first chart shows you the power of starting right now. Not starting tomorrow, not starting in a week, starting right now. So this is the scenario with this chart. You start out by investing $1,000 up front. You then invest $200 every single month. We're then assuming, as you see here at the bottom, that your investment will grow on average by 8% over the time frame we're going to discuss. So at the far left column, we're looking to invest for 35 years. With your thousand dollars up front and your two hundred dollars a month in all, you have put in eighty-five thousand dollars. Your investment will have yielded you over three hundred ninety-three thousand dollars. So by the end of that thirty-five years, your investment will be worth over four hundred and seventy-eight thousand dollars. Pretty good, right? But notice what happens when you invest for five more years, or if you had started five years earlier. So in this scenario, as you can see here, the middle column were invested for forty years. The total we would have put in with $1,000 up front and $200 a month will be $97,000. But that investment will have grown to over $630,000 by the end of that 40 years. Notice the difference. By being invested five more years, we went from an investment worth $478,000 to an investment worth over $727,000. Which one would you rather have? I think we'll all agree the middle column. But let's move on to the best one. Let's say we started investing 10 years earlier than the first scenario or five years earlier than the middle column. So we're invested for 45 years. In all, you would have put in only $109,000 over that 45 year period. Your investment would have gained $989,000. And as you see up top, you'd be a millionaire. Your $109,000 investment over 45 years would have grown to over a million dollars. Do you see why I say it's so important to start investing today? Don't put it off till tomorrow. Don't put it off another week. Start investing today. Now there are considerations that each one of us have to decide for ourselves, such as paying off very expensive debt and having sufficient savings. But if at all possible, start investing sooner rather than later. Later it could potentially cost you several hundred thousand dollars. Now something I promote on my channel is to put your investments to work. Yes, you wanna invest the long term, but use some things like selling options to help improve your return. You can end up with even bigger nest egg than for example, this $1.1 million. If you like more information on how we use options, check out some of the videos on my channel. They'll help you learn how to use options to consistently put cash into your pocket, which will also increase your return. Moving on to chart number two here on CNBC, we see it discusses diversification. Diversification is one of those topics that people have strong opinions on. You have people like Charlie Munger, who is one of the greatest investors of all times, he said diversification wasn't very smart. Then you look at his partner, Warren Buffett, and his money's diversified into a lot of different businesses. And personally, I agree with you a lot of different businesses. I like diversification. If you have one investment that's doing bad, another one might be doing good. That diversification can help smooth out your returns in the long run. There's a couple things I wanna share with you in this chart. But first, let me explain the chart to you. On the bottom, you have standard deviation. That's how much your investment tends to move around compared to other investments. On the left, you have average annualized returns. So obviously, we'd all like a nice high return with very low volatility. So we'd love to have something right in this area. Notice there's not a lot in that area. In fact, there's nothing. But we do have some that are in the top part of this chart, but they do experience some volatility. And we know as investors, that's what we get paid for. It's an investment. You're taking on some risk and you expect a return for that risk. So this chart considers the past 20 years risk and return. Notice what the highest yielding return is. As you see here, it's US large cap stocks. So if you like a nice, relatively safe return, invest in large US cap stocks. And you can do that relatively easily by buying ETFs like SPY, VOO, QQQ, or even SCHD. But if you want a nice, consistent return, consider buying US large cap stocks. On another note, notice what the worst yielding investment is. It's cash or cash equivalents. This helps you realize that if you don't need the cash, it's very smart to invest it in proven, safe investment vehicles. Now, if you need the cash, don't invest it. But if you don't need the cash, put it in a smart, well-diversified investment like large U.S. companies. And just to point out a few of the other high return places to invest, notice the second highest one here is U.S. small cap stocks, followed by gold, real estate, or REITs, and then emerging market stocks. So create a portfolio that matches your investment risk and one that'll produce a nice, consistent, long-term return for you that can set you up for retirement. So as you see, it's smart to be diversified. Invest in different vehicles that have a proven track record of producing a nice, consistent return. And here's a nice place to start. Now let's talk about the scary times. 
the bear markets. Here you see the last five bear markets going back to 1982. Let's talk to these five bear markets, see what we can learn from them that help us to be a smarter investor. Now the first one is one you probably heard of, Black Monday. It happened in 1987. The Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped 22.6% in one day, a huge drop. If you had your money invested in those stocks, your net worth went down by almost 25% in one day. As you see here over the next several months, your total loss would have been just over 33%. Now that can be scary, but notice what's happened since then. The market bottomed around 250 and now it's over 4,500. If you had been scared, you would have missed out on one of the best investments of all time. Now let's move on to the next bear market that happened between 2000 and 2002. Here you see the market dropped over 49% during that time. But again, notice what you would have missed out on. The market went from 845 to again, 4,500. In the Great Recession, number three, we see the market dropped over 56 six percent scary probably so for a lot of people an opportunity absolutely look what happened next over the next 15 years the market went from 770 to again 4500 an excellent investment over time you think that was scary absolutely was scary was an opportunity yes it was an opportunity and then one that most of us are probably familiar with the crash that happened in early 2020 with the covid virus almost a 34 percent drop in just a little over a month Scary? Probably so for a lot of people. An opportunity? Absolutely. The market went from 2300 to almost doubling over the next several years. Fear is a big factor in the market. If you don't know what tends to happen when we're in bear markets, it can be very scary. But by considering what happens in the long run, you see these bear markets are just a small piece of the overall equation. Know that bear markets, they're just a part of investing. And they're typically, as you see here, the best times to invest. When you're in the middle of a bear market, it might feel like the end of the world. But as you see here in the big picture, they're just a small little blip on the radar and they're usually the best opportunities to invest. If you'd like to read the article and see these charts in more detail, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we buy stock or sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to say you could potentially retire a lot earlier than you thought possible, check out the video at the link above and the description below entitled, How to Retire Early. Until next time, Happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.